Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time seeing my face. My name is Kai, I do fashion videos, reactions, music con. Sun is about to set, so it's directly in my face. So I wanna do a quick intro. The intro is not gonna to be too long today. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Reacting to a feminine man dating a masculine woman. Woman. I don't know how that's gonna go. We're gonna to react to it today. The relationship dynamic is definitely a little bit different than traditional. The channel is called Love Don't Judge, so we can't judge today. No judgment. Um, but yeah, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, share the video as well. Um, and let's get into the video. And I am a feminine presenting strip man. I guess people perceive us as. First of all, not her picking him up. <laughs> Damn, this is gonna get interesting. Oh, they want us to look. The couple met through TikTok, and despite not being each other's usual type, I was identifying as gay because it was easier than explaining all the ins and outs of who I was. I've only dated girls in the past. The most freaking question we get is, who is the woman? Or like, who is the girl? <laughs> who is the boy? Who is and the man? I think that's true. I think for traditionally like feminine men, if you're feminine, you're automatically gay. So that's nice that he's able to express his femininity and still be straight. I don't think we see that enough of straight men who like women but are able to embrace their femininity. They're always kind of judged. This comment from Meryn on TikTok sparked a conversation between the pair. I just was posting different pictures of myself, like dress femme, dress mask, and I had commented on this other masculine girl's TikTok who was talking about how she thought that femme men were cute. And I was like, oh my God, girl. This is a lesbian, but... <laughs> so she was a lesbian. Okay. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure this out. Okay. Okay. I was like... I'll just flirt with him just for fun. But I was also thinking in my head, like, this is just gonna be a fun little thing that happens for a couple days and then it'll be over with. Mm -hmm. I never thought that it would be I thought a real thing. thing. With a connection this strong, Marin and James were keen to meet. And even after their first date, this couple knew their relationship was going to be something special. I guess that's like one of the benefits of dating a feminine guy is you can kind of like dabble in his closet. Yeah. He likes to make the joke that I came out the womb masculine because Honey was wearing boy clothes in elementary school. So I've only I've only dated girls in the past. I'm very much attracted to femininity as a whole. I love that just his energy is very feminine. Like sometimes he'll like like this is not the little jacket's not feminine, but the way he's acting is feminine. I just <laughs> My sexuality was all over the place. Very much. In high school, I was like this full straight, like almost hyper masculine version of myself where like I was still one of the girls. However, I was pulling girls. And then I got to college and I was like, yeah, that ain't it. <laughs> Not for me. So I was identifying as gay because it was easier than explaining all the ins and outs of who I was. Like never really just jumped all in with a man, I, I never had any interest in doing that. So when the world went on shut- I get it, if she's attracted to femininity and he's feminine and he's attracted to masculinity, I understand why they would be you know, drawn to each other. Regardless of their gender, I mean, energy is still energy. So if you have masculine energy, you have feminine energy, no matter what gender you are, you're still gonna have that energy in you, inside you, because that's what you um, put out to the world, you know? I have cooked. One time. I cooked for Valentine's Day. Yes. And it was bomb. Sometimes I come on a Saturday and I'll leave on a Monday. So I'm here for a good little minute. I guess people perceive us as weird as a couple because we don't follow the regular status quo. And we don't look like how they want us to look or how they would expect us to look. Mm. You were hungry. I'm still on it. Nothing is ever truly yours. I'm glad that we're eating now because I feel like we would have had to wait a long time at Nice Guys. Now I say, I have a girlfriend. That's the end of, that's the end of the, the that's the response. I have a girlfriend. So why do you dress the way that you do? Because I like it. I like to be cute, period. 
Made the first TikTok August 6th of 2021 in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. So I like made, I posted all these pictures of us together. And I woke up the next morning and we had over a million views and I said, babe, this is not happening. I think people saw in the video that I had on stilettos and she looked like a boy. In the beginning, people would say like, they're just best friends. They're doing this oh, for yeah. views. The most frequent question we get is, who is the woman? Or like, who is the girl? <laughs> who is the boy? Who is and the man? It was so frequent. I feel like it's only weird, people will perceive it as weird just because um, they present, you know, not as a heterosexual couple. Like maybe, I feel like if I saw them walking down the street, I would think they were friends. Um, but I don't think it's weird. For my white heels. Okay. Should I do that one? Or should I do this one? I like this little tiny one. It's literally, it's very much like a mix of masculine and feminine. Because like, I don't like to wear dresses and like that, but I love a flowing garment, honey. Like a long flowing garment is gonna get me every time. But at the same time, I'm not gonna put on a ball gown. No, that's not me. Marin likes to match me. I, I do. <laughs> Marin, Marin will, Marin, Marin will inadvertently watch me get dressed first, just so she can see what I'm gonna put on so she can match me, without asking. That smells very, like, streetwear. Yeah, for sure. Like, I'll have on a stiletto, and she wants to wear Jordans every time. There is no big hoopla around our relationship. We are really just two people that dress differently, but the rest of our relationship is the same. And I feel like, because none of our friends, like, ever felt like the way people are commenting on our TikToks. They're like, it's so regular, like it's so normal, which it is. We just <laughs> to each other about it. Yeah, I feel like since seeing this relationship and being friends with Mary. It seems the same. They seem just like a regular couple. Like, I don't, I get the shock factor, but I mean, from what I'm seeing, it's nothing too crazy. When it comes to like sexuality and all that it encompasses, it's not just straight gay bye. Honey, it's so much more. Honestly, I think this relationship taught me that there was a lot more fluidity to me than I thought. To anyone who is judgmental of us or doesn't approve, I really don't care. You're um, paying a bill. You're paying my light bill. <laughs> and I'm cashing care. the check. And I'm laughing at your comment anyways because either it was funny or it was dumb enough to where it wasn't funny. And I'm still laughing, so. Yeah. Love that for you. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she picking him up like that? <laughs> that is what is sending me. Golly, she's strong. Good thing is I like that, you know, he still allows her to be masculine and she allows him to be feminine. So I, I feel like it works for them. So my thoughts and opinions is if it works for you, it works for you and it works for them. So no judgment on my end. They seem like a, oops. This is Amber. They seem like a very happy couple um, and I wish them the best and success. And yeah. works for people, works for people. And that has nothing to do with me. You know what I mean? We're just reacting to it. But yeah, that's the end of the video. If you watch the video throughout, thank you so much. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Also, share the video too. If you like it, share it with some family, some, some family, friends. And when you know, share it on TikTok, share it on YouTube, share it on Twitter, share it everywhere. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kai, and I'm out.